Hey guys, Jabby back. Still playing some Titan Souls. Now let's see. So, Zetue was the mimic. Can we climb this? Oh, we can't climb that. Uh, is there something plateauing up here? I'm going to take that as a yes. Oh! Uh, hello. Okay then. That was not expected. Uh, let's let's see if we can deal with that mimic first. Seemed a little bit more reasonable. Hey, Mr. Moneybox. Okay, he'll spit out a coin at us at one point. That's cool. One of the minor annoyances I find is just that it takes so long to get to the Titans. Are physical ops barriers. That's why I want to learn out of that. Okay, so from one round, we're not sure this is the complete rotation, but we've got uh, money spew, teleport, jump, jump, spit. tongue-looking thing inside, I think is going to be the weak spot. Oh, that one's faster. Yeah, you gotta start with the money spew thing. I'm running out of places to run. Darn it. <laughs> now, let's just stay there, or, like, does he destroy them when he hops? I'm not completely sure, but this pattern seems easy enough. I think what we're going to spend most of our time on is that mean looking knight dude. Okay. Once more for great justice. Or incredibly selfish desires, I don't know. Mr. Moneybags. waited too long. But yeah, I think that's what we need to do. He doesn't really seem to give any other opening.
Okay. Why did I... <laughs> so yeah, I got a plan. Completely forget the simplest thing about the boss fight. That is not a plan. Don't let anyone ever tell you that completely forgetting what happens is a plan. <laughs> or at least not a good one. One more try. Back down and shoot. Dodge the fallen money. Don't min don't know many places you're gonna hear that. And completely miss because I'm smart. Ah. <sighs> It's the small mistakes you really punish yourself over. Like the big ones, like not knowing the pattern. You, you kind of blame the game on that. But when it just comes together so smoothly like that right there, it makes it all worth it. Not even the gold seems as illustrious anymore. Look at the chompers on this bad boy. You know, one thing I do kind of miss is the um, the first few bosses or titans. They had a little emblem above their room, kind of. Gave you somewhat of an idea of what was going on, or at least appearance-wise. These, you're just kind of walking in blind. You're semi-hoping that it goes, goes with the theme of the area. That's not fair, he has two arrows. Come on, how is that fair? We've only got one. And he doesn't even have to draw, not going back to the mimic. He doesn't even have to draw his back to him. But then again, this is the only one that... It doesn't say this guy's a titan. Night El Hanan Elanan <laughs> Insult to injury. No, these guys are very kind. When it comes to just like, eh, just lay down, kid. No, he's like, hey, I'm gonna step on your bloody corpse now.
Now here's a question. I'm thinking, and I'm pretty sure I'd be right to think it, that the pillars are kind of shield. Yeah, for you, the player. We've never gotten a name for this guy, by the way. It's just protagonist. So it could be a girl. I don't know. But can we knock all of these down? Holy moly! Huh. So, pro tip, the arrow from his bow is a heck of a lot stronger than the arrow that's just, you know, flying around doing its own thing. Oh, what? He doesn't have two arrows, he has four. Talk about being cheap. Okay. So, here's a thought. Because I noticed these during that fight. There's some holes up there. Or are they holes? I don't know, they look like something to aim for, because... I don't know what else to aim for in here. Oh man, I just saw the skeleton bit on them. That was, uh... Question. What if we try and shoot his arrow? It does seem tied to him. And before it goes flying around, he seems to charge it up with his soul? Innate power? The charge of badassdom. So maybe that is what we should aim for. Instead of destroying what seems to be our bunch of shields. I don't know, this seems like the kind of guy that I'm going to give it like two, three more tries. And then I'm going to see if I can find some other people. bumped into the wall. Because I know it... The Mimic came kind of easy. I, I will give it that one. But... 
For most of these, I seem to have the uh, problem of ramming my face against a stone pillar for a little bit. To my detriment or not. Oh wow, I thought I was behind that. Yeah, just ram my face against the thing for a little bit, and then, once I feel too stressed out about it, just sit down and try and think of anything I can find out. This guy, I don't feel give me that real chance. Because I may have the right idea, I just don't know when to properly execute. I kind of cut myself off there. Which I can only imagine makes for a not very entertaining show. Dang, that's fast. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try and... See if I can hunt down some other areas. I also feel that having the one actually named guy that we can understand the lettering of gives a little bit more importance than I should be facing right now. So let's give a quick hunt and see if we can find the next zone. The music's kind of changing, that's promising. Climb on that. Hey, not too far. Okay. So what do we have behind the squared off block? Okay. Wake up now. Okay. Uh, um, all right. Target is your back. Or is it? Okay, so that's option number one. A faceplate. That's cool. We came from down. So is there anything up on this side? No. Alright. Let's give this whole arena a good run. See if there's anything special on it. Obviously a crypt, but... Okay. Cannot shoot the energy balls. It's good to know. Way to skill. That's me, Jabby. It's 
Slayer of Titans, Deliverer of Souls. Uh, four cardinals, and he just cycles between those. And can't backstab him. Huh. Well, we found our next area, guys. Uh, uh, I think we're going to call it there for right now. I'm going to continue this puzzle a little bit. And... See if there's anything special about maybe these marked graves later. Till then, though, this is Jabby. Have a good one.